And yet, yeah. if what's been going on for the last 10 years, you'll get a call from the president. And, you know, if you're an athlete who comes out, you'll get, I mean, all these things where you're praying. The athlete, pl- I just love the delusional world they live in where if you're <laughs> gay, like you get a personal handshake from the president. Like <laughs> the first lady delivers your child, <laughs> you know. I know. And then everybody just rolls out a red carpet for you. And with, it's like, would you're you like so the best of everything we have to offer in society? Oh, yeah. God. That's a hundred percent what happens. That it's wild to me, like the disparate understanding of what it just goes to show that they perceive when you, when you have had nothing but privilege, you perceive the loss of that privilege as discrimination. Yeah, you perceive anybody else having the opportunities that you avail of and entirely take for granted and see as the default for someone like you. Anybody having equal footing is just that's an advantage in your eyes because you don't even know what the fuck advantage means because it's the default for you. I think it's even worse than that, too, because it's like it's not even just that they lost privilege. It's that like they lost the right to oppress other people. And that it's not even like they lost anything other than the right to like or like being the normal one in society or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't think they, I don't even know if they necessarily lost privilege, but just the fact that they aren't able to openly be homophobic without being like, you know, having social repercussions right. mm-hmm. is, is so, is enough to think like, oh, wow, these people just get everything now. Like, it's but, just an insane disparity. Uh, is it wrong to ship these two? Because if you go back, they're sitting in the exact same way with their legs in the same position. They're making the same motion with their arms. Uh, I think they doth protest too much. They're enjoying the same types of things. They're like, they're sharing an experience. I don't know. It's like a date. They went to the movies. <laughs> they got popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. They made it very clear that they did not go to the movies. <laughs> right. They right. brought the movies to them because yeah, they were ready to be seen together in public. They watch this in the intimacy of their own homes. Mm. They wouldn't do it publicly. Or the studio that they put together for this. <laughs> they did oh, do a decent approval. job of like no, trying to be like, we do, we do science fiction. I see a Ninja Turtle and a Yoda yep. and some sort of pink unicorn next to Darth Vader. Oh, yeah. There's several PopCap figures, but I'm not sure what they are. It's difficult for me to tell from here. And then there's movie yeah. posters in the bathroom background. I think one of them is Star Wars. The Star Wars. I think there's a guy. I see Denzel right Washington's there. face. So I'm going to say maybe remember the Titans. Wouldn't mm-hmm. all these count as idols? You. Lord of the Rings. Hmm. Potentially. Well, it depends can... on how seriously you take things. Which is an idol. Like um... I guess they would be. Yeah, that's right. They're not grieving images. They're not like either representing gods. But yeah, they absolutely would be idols. Anything, anything you worship, above, anything you put above God. Actually, I'm, I'm just saying, if they've got a bunch of like secular movie posters yeah. and a Yoda and all this, where's Jesus? I don't see Jesus or right. like Passion of the Christ posters or anything exactly. like that. Good point. Good point. Good point. Yeah, because they have lots to choose from. But then they would be promoting competition potentially. To be mm. fair, I can't see all the posters because it's no, dark. it's just a little dark. dark but, yeah. but I know one is for sure of Lord of the Rings. I see Denzel watched it. It looks like Remember the Titans. There's a Star Wars one. Back to the Future is the far left. The only one I can't yep. figure out is the middle one, the one that's right behind Tim's left shoulder. I think that's Godzilla. I think that's good. Is that Godzilla? The rest of them I think are I think I got. That one I can't be it's just like a blue blob to me. I don't I don't just know. based on, because I watched this show more than you guys because why why wouldn't i have yeah. you are you are as a person mm-hmm. really take bravery in our culture to do that and really what i want to point out i know we've talked about this with that clip is how normal it's just presented mm-hmm. it's presented as something normative and thus if it's normal it's just right and good and that whole idea that a, a homosexual relationship being normative is and good is anti-biblical and actually it's really harmful to human flourishing the humans and us people and it's unbiblical, but they're God. presenting it as good. It's horrible for human flourishing for gay people to be presented as normal. <laughs> yeah, not not even celebrated, just like mm-hmm. just normal, just normal in society. Like, uh, I 
Yeah, because it's not like Steve set off a confetti cannon when Buddy was like, I went on a date with a guy. He wasn't like, let's destroy society. Yeah, well, what? You got my tidy whities with my cap like shield. A human in a, does yeah, yeah, to yeah. somebody having an experience in their life that they wanted support for. And that, that's what they fucking hate. I need oh. to hear him like attempt to substantiate the claim that it's bad for human flourishing. Like, oh, please. it's because it's because homosexuals don't reproduce. But the flip side is you're never going to get slapped with a paternity suit. <laughs> and also, homosexuals are a subset of the population, so people will still reproduce. It's almost like tacitly saying. If you had the choice to be gay and not straight, all of us would choose to be gay instead of straight, and then no one would reproduce. Right. Which is insane. It's like, true, like, right? Yeah. It's oh. almost like saying, well, I'm gay and you're gay, and we would be gay if we could be <laughs> gay, but we can't. Therefore, now we can have babies <laughs> with women because if we had a choice, they wouldn't. Am I right? That's what they're <laughs> fucking saying. That's crazy. I got them. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know why these guys are choosing to pretend like they're straight. <laughs> <laughs> we have many a tick in the ship, these guys call them. <laughs> that is happening they, rapidly. They have self control because the answers are in Genesis. That's nice. Good tie in. This thing's an um, hour long, and we haven't even got past cats uh, congratulating like, someone for having gay sex. Yeah, the cat only <laughs> even though so. um, even know they went on a date. Yeah, it was just like I had coffee with the guy. Yeah. I would and then love I was to, sad. I would then up to know Brian or Tim laughed or how they felt when the when the America's ass joke came yes. in, in this movie. Like this very movie. Ooh. Yep, has also, Captain America admiring his own ass. How gay can you get? Right. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm looking at my ass going, that's a great ass, right? That's, that's America's <laughs> that's ass. America's but ass. I want to see if these guys actually address the important thing from this, which is uh, that they're talking about uh, going out on a date and when each of them cried. So the whole mm. thing about this scene is it's mm. been five years and... The world is a shambles. And we're just looking at a tiny little area on our one tiny little planet. And I'm going to bet they don't mention the crying thing at all. Not even to say that it's potentially a good thing or that this shows, you know, maturity and that it's okay for dudes to cry. Because if right. they think it's not okay for dudes to hang out or go on dates, they're probably not that cool with crying. Oh, I bet. No, yeah, probably that's for sure. Yeah, Noah didn't cry. He Noah. just built a boat. Yeah, and watched everybody around him drown. Ha ha ha! Then got drunk and naked. Yeah, and exposed himself to his As male you children. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, we're very conflicted with the uh, Russell Crowe Noah. They probably felt different ways about it. If so, you uh, keep hearing that idea again and again and see it like that, yeah. and then the moral Huge compass film. of this of this movie. Um, marathon and this man says no it's good or right good on you and then that idea to the audience is seen as good or right and normative and, and here's here's the other thing for this. what's the point of that scene it's really it, not, if the i knew they out, didn't know the point of that scene <laughs> <laughs> we spent 20 minutes explaining the point of that scene <laughs> let's see if he gets it right with a woman it's not even kept in the movie oh, no, there, there's no point to it other than push this <laughs> there's absolutely no point to talking about the real world experiences and the trauma and how people are coping with five years of losing half of the people in the universe why did we even keep that in that's some woke bullshit right there because <laughs> if a straight person like if that if that if that character that who was the director i guess had said i went on a date with a woman and all other thing all other things were kept equal yeah. We wouldn't be having this fucking conversation. Yep. We would not be having the conversation. And they pro and I don't believe that they don't get it. I believe that they refuse to get it because then they would have to acknowledge that queer people have the same type of fucking feelings. Right. <laughs> they also have emotions. Yeah. 
They they have the same type of feelings and orientations I know that towards they know. other people. I know that these guys absolutely know that queer folks have feelings because they're constantly trying to provoke those feelings with their mockery and derision. Mm -hmm. I would go so far as to say that they are not attempting to provoke queer people's feelings. They are attempting to embolden bigots' feelings. And they are completely disregarding queer, queer people's feelings because they don't matter to them. All right, so we've got a useless scene. <laughs> yeah, no, who gives a shit? <laughs> we, just, we just spent like 30 minutes on a useless scene. Half what the, the hell's wrong with us? And nobody cares, especially if All you're right. gay, because why would you, right? You should just be straight and not be sad.